After you have deployed a template, the best place to start is the book entitled One Home. Start by clicking here. We've given it an obvious name, just in case you need a helping nudge. Inside this book, you will find a welcome page with instruction on how to secure the plan so that you are the only person who has access to it. By default, it's available to everyone in your tenant, so it's a good idea to do this if you're going to customise the template and import your own data. You can navigate using the next buttons or you can click onto the tab. So here we have the introduction page. This has some key features about the template plus an introductory video for you to watch. The navigating this template sheet is where you'll find the link to this video plus some information about the icons you might meet within this template. Lastly, there is a home page with buttons which link to all of the other books in this template. This page also has a number of icons indicating that there is both information and associated learning for these topics. For example, the first book is Analyze and Plan. The mortarboard icon directs you to a guided tutorial where you can learn more about analysis and data entry techniques. The guided tutorials are available from the Start Something New page. As you can see here, there are a number of tutorials which are available. The light bulb indicates specific information associated with that book. Let's look at each of these books in more detail. In the Contribution and Analysis section, we have the Analyze and Plan book. As the name suggests, this has a number of pre-built analyses populated with sample data. Take some time to understand these before customising the template with your own structures and data. The available analyses allow you to examine data by expense line, by cost centre, variance for key periods, an at-a-glance dashboard to give you some status indication. In addition, you can do ad hoc analysis if required and you have visibility of your local currency and your exchange rates on this page. The plan in local currency page of the book is designed to allow you to edit your current plan in local currency and review any of the analyses to see the impact of the changes. Note that the historic periods are in green, indicating that they are read-only, and the future periods are white, indicating that you can do data entry into these cells. If you would like more experience with analysis and data entry techniques, there is a tutorial called One Analysis and Plan, which is available from the Start Something New page of the website. If we review the template, we can see that there's that One Home Start by Clicking Here book, and then there's a folder called Two Planners and Viewers. Inside that is the Analyze and Plan book that we were looking at just now. If you invite others to collaborate with you on the plan, it is possible to set permissions at the book level or if you want to set it at the folder level you can do so and that will save you some time because that will be applied to all the books within that folder. The second book in the contribution and analysis section is forecast expenses. As the name suggests it is here that you can enter expenses for your cost center in local currency. You select your cost center from the drop down and your expense item and then you can input into the future periods. So in this case, April onwards are open for data entry. There's also a line chart to give you some indication of the expense line variance. The second tab allows you to review your plan in local currency. Again, there are a number of visualizations to help you to understand the data. The next section covers administration. And these books are in the three admins and model admins folder. The period rollover book contains information regarding administration for this specific template. Here you are guided through the different steps that would normally happen in a period rollover. Updates to dimensions such as versions, expenses and cost centers. Processes that snapshot the current plan into a new version before you reforecast and processes to update exchange rates and actual data as required. Some processes, such as the upload of new actuals data, uses a file as a data source. The template has an example file placed into the process, but you can replace this with your own. 
be aware that you need to label the columns correctly and have the correct format. In this case, a column for each of the dimensions plus a column with the values at the end. Look at the existing example to help you create your own file for a process and then you drag it onto the file area and click through to preview. Save the changes and then you can run the process. The second administration book is common to all templates and allows you to configure access and rights for this template. If you didn't change the default access which allows everyone to have access to your plan when you initially started working with it, you could do so from this book. In addition, you can invite other users initially as plan administrators but with the capability to reduce their access as required. Access is controlled by group inside the plan and there are three security groups set up by default. Modeler, Contributor and Reviewer. Cube access for each group has been preset but you can change it if you need to. You can also add more security groups should you require additional access configurations. For a user to have access to a cube they must have at least read access to the dimensions that make the cube up. Next are the books under the model understanding and one-off configuration section. These allow you quick access to the structures that make up the plan. Be aware that there is a tutorial that covers modeling. In the dimensions book, the introductory page has a view of the, all the dimensions that can be found in this model. This will update if you add more dimensions or hierarchies. The other pages in this book display the main dimensions in the model, those which are most likely to change, each having their own page, and then the system dimensions such as the measures for each of the cubes which are unlikely to change and these are grouped together on the last page. In the cubes book each cube is set onto its own page. In addition there is a flowchart to help you understand the data flow and any source cubes that are used in the conditional logic. Here is a view showing us all the cubes that are in the model and once again this will be updated if you add new cubes. If you look at individual cubes, you can see there is a view of the cube, some information about it, and then you can see the business logic underneath. It may help to enable line wrapping if it's not already enabled to see all the details. And in some of the rule editors, you may need to scroll down to see all of the detail of the rules that are associated with this cube. If you click across, you can see the other cubes. And be aware that in some cases a cube does not have any business logic associated with it. In the processes book there is one main page with the process editor on it. You can use the drop down at the top of this to select the process you want to review. Ensure that you are on the correct plan. Once you select the process you'll be interested in reviewing the script. Be aware that some processes use parameters to gather information at runtime. For example, if you're adding a new security group, you'll be prompted for the group name at runtime. Other processes use data sources. For example, if you're uploading from a file, you'll be able to see the data source in the first of the tabs. So in summary, you can start from the home page of one home start by clicking here book and navigate to all of the other books that are in this particular plan. In addition you've got pop-up icons to give you information about learning that is available and other general information about the book that you're looking at. This makes it easy to move around the plan and move to and from books by clicking on the buttons.